Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a quick method for moving, scaling and transforming patterns in Illustrator. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. Let's swing back to Illustrator where I have a document already created and I have a rectangle here which I'm about to fill with a pattern. Now the credit for this particular video goes to a subscriber, Joe Batago, and he said something in a comment on one of my YouTube videos and a light bulb went off for me. And I just want to share this with you because if you don't know about this, it's an awesome technique. So in the past, I've been teaching you to move and scale and transform patterns by selecting an object that is filled with a pattern and choose the object transform and then one of these options. But there is a better way and thanks to Joe, this is it. You're going to select your shape and you'll choose effect, distort and transform and transform. The reason for this is that the exact same options that are available through the object menu are available here. You'll turn preview on and what you will want to do is disable transform objects because we want to transform this pattern, not the object. So if we want to scale the pattern, then we're just going to type a scaling factor in here. I'm going to scale mine up to 150%. There is no link option here, so you will have to enter each value independently. And of course, if you don't want to skew your pattern out of alignment, if you don't want to make it sort of stretchy tall or pull it wide, then you'll want to use the exact same values for horizontal and vertical. If you want to move your pattern, you're going to use the move option. So I'm going to move this flower into this position. So I want to go horizontally a little bit less. So I'm going to go down horizontally and I'm going to go up vertically. So I'm going to push it in a positive direction. But here I can fine tune the placement of my pattern the way I want it to be placed inside this rectangle. And the other option you have, of course, is rotation. So we could rotate this pattern by just adjusting the rotation percentage here. So for example, if you had a pattern of lines and you wanted them instead of being vertical, for example, to be on an angle, then you could come in here and make the angle 45 degrees and you'd have diagonal lines instead of vertical ones. There are all sorts of uses that you can put this dialogue to. When you're done, just click OK. Now, one word of warning, unlike if you were to choose object transform on one of these options, you'll find that this effect that you've just applied to the pattern is not baked into it. It would be baked into it if you use the options from the object menu. Let's go across here to the appearance panel and we can see the appearance attributes for this particular shape. And one of them is that transform. So you can see that it is actually an effect. It's not baked into the image. We can bake it into this shape and all we do for that is choose object and then expand appearance. And that expands the appearance so it bakes these changes into this pattern. So the pattern isn't being transformed any longer. It, this is all it is. This is your fill. It looks like this. So thank you very much to Joe Bottega for taking the time to comment on that video and for enlightening me to something that I had obviously missed. I think it's a great tip and I hope that you enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. If you've got comments that you think are going to help, please put them in the comments section because I'm always on the lookout for great tips to share with you. In the meantime, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.